Hi everybody, just a super quick video about how you can use the excellent DAISY editor mod from Inclement Dab to um, find out the exact coordinates of items that you want to place on the DAISY map. And we're talking about X, Y and Z and pitch and roll as well. If you've ever tried to spawn things in on Daisy, you'll know that this can be very, very challenging. And this applies to console Daisy as well. Now, I know you can't run this on console, the actual Daisy editor, but if you've got a, a laptop or a computer, or if, like me, you're using something like a Shadow Cloud, ga uh, Shadow Cloud Gaming PC that you can run Daisy and the Daisy editor on, that you can still use this technique. So, what you do is you just use the Daisy editor, and I'm kind of assuming you now do it just to spawn the items in, and you know, and you can. You know, move move them around you know to do what do what you want to do with them and then when you want to know um, what the positions are the exact positions that these are what you do well this is what I do there might be a better way of doing it so you go file export um, and export to map group pause I found I find this the best one at the moment and if we call this uh, Northeast airfield c130s we say export selected objects like that that will have now saved a file with these in so if we come out of this and we go into the editor file so if we so these are all the files that the editor saves so northeast airfield c130 so if we now open this file with the notepad plus plus you can see landrec c130 and then we have the x y and z so the X and the Z coordinates, that's north north to south, east to west, that. The Y is the altitude, which is very important when you want to place things exactly. If you want to see it, I want these exactly in this position, especially if you want to place things inside buildings or on top of buildings. Um, and then the, the first RPY number is, that's the uh, rotation. So, and then we've got, you know, if we were using a roll, pitch, and yaw, you would have those figures as well. So you wanted to tip the aeroplane over, so it looked like it had fallen over. But they're the, they're the four main ones. So you've got, they're the two ones we normally worry about, the X and the Z. And then the middle one, the Y, that's the altitude. And then that is the rotation. And it's really easy because especially if you, you, you're placing different things with different names in, because it puts the land wreck bit at the beginning or the name of the object you're placing, it's easy to identify what is what. And then you can now use these coordinates in your custom event spawns, um, to custom um, safer animals, if you wanted to custom, add some custom locations for to, to their, um, to, to their where, where they would graze, you know, um, all that sort of stuff. You can use these here. Very, very useful indeed. Very, very easy as well to do to find things out exactly where they should go. If you were using this, you could use the technique, for example, for placing objects on walls and um, find out exact coordinates. Or if you're trying to put things close together, if you're trying to do like a trader where, you know, like the uh, the console trader we use, where you, you're placing boxes of ammunition very close to each other, you could zoom in and you could use this technique. Anyway, there we go. Well done to Inclement Dab for, for doing it. The Daisy Editor, I'll put a description in the video down below. And a nice little technique for finding the exact coordinates for placing items on your Daisy map. If you've uh, found the video useful, hit like. Hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.